I'm gonna be sharing with you in this video five signs you're ready for an epic transformation in your life. Because the truth is that you might be going through a phase right now where you can feel that it's time to move towards something else. Maybe in your life you've been in some sort of like a limbo phase for the last couple months or years, and the truth is that you're tired of it. You're tired of being tired and your heart has a desire to move in a certain direction and that's exactly what we're going to be talking about in this video so if you're new to this channel what i want you to do is i want you to hit that subscribe button i want you to hit that notification bell because i do actually post a new video every single day also if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one, personally hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation and the first sign you're ready for an epic transformation is number one you feel passionate and you feel motivated to actually move and i have move in quotations here to move the energy in your life to allow things to move forward once again because perhaps for the last couple months or years you haven't been moving forward you've been stuck you've been stuck and even though you weren't willing to admit it to yourself Perhaps you're willing to see now from this higher level of awareness that it was always a choice because you have a choice to go take action that actually moves the energy in your life. Have you ever like not cleaned out an old closet for a really long time and you know that you have to go do that? See, the longer you put that off, the more that's going to eat away at you because you know you have to go do that thing to move forward in your life. You keep putting it off later, 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 later. It's going to be later forever. And you're realizing that now you want to go change. You want to go move things. So actually, you feel this passion and this motivation and desire to change and say, gosh, like I really would feel so much better if I just go clean out my closet, for example, that could be what it is for you. And at this point, the good news is that it doesn't feel like an obligation. It doesn't feel like, I mean, maybe it'll require some effort, but in another sense, it'll be kind of effortless because like you wanna go do that. There's no sense of like obligation or have to. The energy is the same. Once you go do that, you're gonna have to move through the energy no matter what. But now the difference is that you're consciously choosing to move that energy to go do that thing versus some have to which is why you haven't been doing it but that's fine there's nothing wrong with that limbo phase you've been in but now you actually want to change that's a huge sign that you are ready for an epic transformation as you feel passionate and motivated to go actually change because you want to because you want to move the energy because you have a passion and a joy and look you might even feel angry you might even be you might even feel like an emotion coming up in your body like you're actually angry that you're not happy with where you are that's completely fine in fact anger is a really good emotion to transmute towards what you want it's just an emotion but you don't want to let the emotion control you you want to be in control of the emotion that's the most important thing and when you learn to do this this is how you actually channel your life force energy towards what you want but it has to come from that pace of passion and motivation. Well, it doesn't have to, but it's more fun. And you actually get to control your energy towards what you want, which is very powerful. Now, the second sign you're ready for an epic transformation is number two. There's certain things in your life that are just not resonating with you anymore. Just very clearly, like maybe you really wanted to go do certain activities or perhaps hang out with certain people. Now, there's anything wrong with those things because you wanted to be focused on that for a very long time. But now, you genuinely, like through this process of moving through that past self enough, now you're at a point where you're like, God, this, like this, maybe this food, just like that for you, it could be a food. It's like, God, it's just not resonating with me anymore. What does resonance mean? It means like you just genuinely, naturally don't want that in your life. Like I remember there came a point where I genuinely stop desiring fast food. I just don't want it. I don't want fast food. I haven't eaten fast food in years. Now, I'm not saying that I'm never gonna eat fast food ever again, but I'm not the kind of person that eats fast food because it just doesn't resonate for me. Now, I used to binge on fast food. I used to eat a lot of fast food, but I just don't want it anymore. Now, for me, when I got to that point of like, God, this just doesn't resonate for me, that was a huge sign I was about to actually go to a much higher level in the area of life in regards to my health. My health got insanely good 
after that process of realizing like, God, I really don't resonate with this anymore. And that came through a process of moving through that desire, eating those fast foods, letting myself binge consciously, of course, because I know that, you know, if you've been watching my videos or if you're new here, maybe you don't know this, but I always encourage people to move through the experience. Use your common sense, of course. Don't hurt yourself, don't harm yourself, don't take this advice as a permission slip to hurt yourself or to do something stupid. <laughs> but it's a good motto and a good general rule of thumb in my experience and in my personal opinion to always make it a habit, so to speak, not necessarily a habit, but a way of life to move through the experience until you just don't want it anymore. And that's how natural transformation happens in my experience is to realize like, God, I just don't want this anymore. And think about how much better that is for a real epic transformation because you just get to the point where rather than forcing yourself to not want these things, yes, you're going to have to have discipline. Yes, you're going to have to you know, take action towards a different identity of who you prefer, but you're consciously engaging in that process and you feel absolutely amazing and you feel amazing saying no to those things that don't resonate. You feel good. The reward is to say no to those things because you just feel better saying no because you just simply don't resonate with it. And this could be completely individual to you. This could be completely individual to you. For me, it's like fast food a long time ago. For you, it could be something completely different. But if you're realizing that certain things are not resonating, it's causing that resistance. It's like, yeah, I don't wanna go there. Not because you're running away from anything, not because you have fear in that area, but because you've already been there and it's not something you want to continue experiencing. Now, the third sign you're ready for an epic not just a regular transformation but an epic transformation is number three you're not afraid to ask for help anymore maybe you've been trying to do things on your own for the last couple years and how's that been working for you probably not very well in my experience when i try to do things alone not that there isn't a time and place to be with yourself and disconnect from all people, I think that's very important to consider that there is particular times where you need space from people. Those boundaries are very important. But at the same time, and this is not a contradiction to that truth I just shared, at the same time, if you want to transform in your life, it is not a wise choice to do it on your own because somebody out there has already embodied what it is that you want to embody and the wise choice to make is to go ask that person for help surround your field of consciousness with their field of consciousness until you become one with how they are and then you become like them in your own way not that you copy them not that I mean, you could copy them if you want but you're still going to kind of take it like in your own way and take what resonates and use it how you like to use it in your own personal way but the point is that you're ready for an epic transformation absolutely if you're not afraid to ask for help you have to start to embody this in your life if you want to transform because any real transformation it's going to happen in relationship with some other person or thing or maybe even if you're into this maybe even like a plant medicine like you can't do things alone right and if you believe it like plant medicines like our support system just as similar as like a coach even or or a friend it's like it's something quote unquote outside of you which of course it is a reflection of who you really are at the essence but at a relative level it is outside of you and is there to support you. And if you're realizing this, if you're not disagreeing with this, if you're actually aware of this and you're resonating with what I'm saying, that is absolutely a huge sign you're ready for an epic transformation. It's like, God, I just need to go ask this person for help. Like, because in the past, maybe your ego was like, hmm, you gotta do this alone, I wanna do it by myself. Maybe now you're thinking is like, wait, that's actually, that's like not a wise choice to make. I can just go ask for help. That's like so much easier. It's gonna make it so much more effortless, so to speak, if you wanna use that word. It's gonna make it so much easier, so much more natural for me to get to this goal because having this support system by my side is going to help me, right? Like Ralph Smart always says, respect your mentors respect your mentors you got to respect the people that are where you already want to be humble yourself ask them for help don't give away your power to them don't give away your consciousness to anything outside of you but simultaneously don't believe you have to do it on your own now i'm not here to convince you of anything because this is a video here to reinforce to you perhaps what you're already realizing 
meaning that you're ready for an epic transformation. If it's not resonating for you, you can actually use these signs and embody them to go have an epic transformation. But if it is resonating for you, then of course it is a huge sign you're ready for an epic transformation. And the fourth sign that you're ready for an epic transformation is that you feel called to cleanse stagnant energy. So I'm not talking about just like taking action and moving the energy, moving towards your goal. Like I said in the first point, I'm talking about cleaning out the old stagnant stuff. Maybe yeah, old closet, old closet, I guess similarly is an example connected to this first point that I, the first point that I shared with you in this video. But this is a little bit different because this is not about moving towards your vision like the first point. This is just about cleaning old things because the first point could be cleaning old things and that could be in alignment with the vision. But this point is just specifically talking about moving old things that are out of alignment that are like in your field. You know, maybe you need to clean out some old clothes. Maybe you got to clean up your room. Maybe, and by the way, these things are very powerful to help you to manifest because when you clean out all those old things, it's like you making, you're making a choice to actually be like that, whatever that is, that, whatever that, that is to you, like that, like the old stuff, that's not me. You can make a conscious choice to decide that simply that old stuff that you're cleaning out, as you're cleaning it out, you make a choice to decide that simply it is not who you are anymore. Simply by making the choice to do so. Simply by making the choice that it is not who you are, that is exactly what happens because you make that choice. You move the energy and you clean out the old. Because if you want to step into the new, you have to clean out the old. That is absolutely a necessary part of this journey because you can't move to something else unless you clean out the old baggage that you're holding onto, the old stuff, the old energy. You have to clean it all out if you want to move towards what you prefer. Now, if you feel called to cleanse the old things in your body or in your room or your clothes, maybe to, maybe to just change your diet or whatever, maybe, maybe to block some old friends or something, block some people, delete some old files in your computer. Like today, I just felt called like, you know what? I'm just gonna delete all these old files on my computer. Like I had all these bookmarks. And I'm like, I don't even I don't even press these bookmarks. Like, why are they here? Just like junk, like old energy all over my computer screen. Like, why do I need that? Why do I need all these old files, all these, all this like bookmarks? Like, I'm not even gonna press those bookmarks. Just it's just like junk. I wanna keep it simple. I want like five links on my bookmarks. I want my computer to be completely clean with only what I prefer to see, what's in alignment with my vision. Why do I need anything else? On my computer screen, I absolutely do not need that. And so that's exactly why I actually cleaned it out and I felt much better actually doing that. So if that's what you're experiencing, that is a huge sign you are ready for an epic transformation. Now the fifth sign that you're ready for an epic transformation is that you're not afraid to make choices and decisions anymore in a certain direction. Perhaps maybe in the past you were scared to make commitments because of the fear of lack. Like, oh, if I move in this direction, I am not going to be able to have this. And this usually means the old reality. So perhaps you persisted in the old reality, which is fine, but you persisted in the old reality, persisted in the old reality, persisted, and you realize, gosh, lack doesn't exist. I can stay here which I can keep creating this, which is available to me because abundance is everything. Abundance is here now. Or I can go towards this new thing that resonates for me so much more, that's so much more exciting. Maybe it's scary, but it's also much more exciting. If you're actually not afraid to make a choice to go in a certain direction anymore and you're able to hold your ground in your root, you're rooted in your being simultaneously while going towards what you want, that's a huge sign you're ready for an epic transformation because people that aren't willing to make powerful and committed choices do not transform in their life. They do not transform in their life. Transformation happens when you make a choice to become something new and you have to make a choice because you, the truth is that on some level, you can't manifest everything. If you say yes to one thing, you're going to say no to another thing, at least in that particular moment and what you're embodying in that moment. And it's very important 
to not make those choices that, I'm sorry, not to be afraid to make those choices that are in alignment with what you want. Don't be afraid of lack. Lack doesn't exist. If you want something, move towards it. Anything that your heart wants to experience in consciousness, in the universe, will be experienced. You don't need to worry about what you're going to lose and what you don't have. Don't, don't think like that. Don't think about what you're going to lose if you go in that direction. Think about what you're going to gain by going in that direction. Think about that. Because when we go through transformation, it's like, oh my gosh, like I'm so scared of losing all this stuff that I have now. But you're not going to lose it. You're going to have all those things you're holding on to, whatever it gives you, you're going to still have that energy, that essence of what you have now, plus even more when you choose to go towards your heart's vision. That's the paradox. It's like we think like, oh my gosh, like if I go towards this vision, I'm going to lose all the stuff I'm attached to. No, you're not. Whatever that stuff is giving you, once again, you're still going to have the energy of that, but it's going to be in a new, more amazing, powerful form that is still what you want, just better and more expansive and even more than you can imagine. But you have to let go of the old and make the sacrifice. But it's not a sacrifice because you're gaining so much more when you go in that direction and make that choice. You'll gain so much more. And that's what I encourage you to really do. But not that I have to encourage it because perhaps you're already doing this. Perhaps you're already being like in this energy of like, you know what, like I have to make this choice because I want to make this choice. It's like, it's like the choiceless choice. It's like, I, I have a choice here, but it's almost like I don't have a choice. Like I need to move towards this direction now because it's almost like I don't have a choice because like I need to go in this direction. Even though you do have a choice, but that's like, you feel like you don't have a choice, but you're not afraid anymore. You just make the choice. You go towards your vision and what your heart really wants. That's absolutely a huge sign you're ready for an epic transformation. If you're making fearless, bold choices, still in a, done in a smart way, still done in a calculated way where you honor yourself and where you're at, I'm not telling you to like make choices that you know are gonna hurt you. I would never encourage that. But I'm saying like, if you're not afraid to make bold, transformative choices that are you committing towards what you want to create, that's absolutely a huge sign you are actually about to have, you're ready for an epic transformation in your life. And with that, I conclude this video. Once again, if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, personally hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation. Also, if any of these signs resonated with you, leave a comment down below sharing with me which sign resonated for you and how it's beneficial for you. I would love to hear what you have to say. Also, please hit that like button for me so that more people can get access to this content because I do believe that every single person on this planet does deserve to know that they are divine creators of their reality. And hitting that like button does help the YouTube algorithm push the videos out to more people and that would be greatly appreciated. As always, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next